Today in this video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the most powerful gaming phone on the market right now. Welcome back, my name is Echo, and this is the Nubia Red Magic 7. Huge shout out to Nubia for sending this out to me. I do really appreciate it. First thing I noticed is how incredible is the box art for this phone. So let's get this opened. I've got my trusty samurai knife. Now for the Red Magic 7, there is a couple of different versions and colors available. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the Supernova. This is an 18 gigabyte with 256 gig of space. There is also the Obsidian version and the Pulsar version. There'll be a couple links down below in the description. Go and check it out. You're not gonna find a better gaming phone for a better price. First thing you will notice in this box is you get given a protective case cover. And I noticed that the protective case cover on this phone is so much better quality than the previous ones. However, all Red Magic devices do come with a protective case cover, which I think is super important and I wish more companies would do this. There's nothing more annoying than opening your phone and not having anything to protect it with. I also noticed that this phone is huge, which is really helpful for me because I got pretty big hands. I also wanted to find out if they had their trademark triggers, which is a big selling point for this phone. Now on the back of this phone, it's got some writing and I was looking closely and it actually explains in detail what these certain things are. For example, it says it's got 20,000 RPM uh, max turbo fan with RGB. So yes, your fan will light up. It also says Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It also says 64 MP HD AI camera. So it's got a pretty high quality camera. A bunch more details are available on the back of this phone. As for what else is available inside of this box, pretty standard. It comes with your uh, charging cable and your charging ports. But unlike Apple, this charging cable doesn't break after a couple of weeks. And as you can see, it fits very snug on the back of your phone. There is the standard Red Magic logo, obviously powered by Android. And I actually love how their logo comes in. Then you're faced with the terms and conditions. So let's accept them. The first thing I did was enable the fan, which can be enabled by the tap of a button. And as you can see, we have the RGB fan active. You can just tap it again and it will turn it off. And I noticed it was so much quieter than their previous models. They do have their standard shoulder triggers, which for me are a huge part of the Red Magic device. It has a 500 Hertz touch sample rate, eight MS touch response time, and at this point, I'm showing you that once you flick the button on the side, it kind of goes into the Red Magic gaming mode, which is the game space where you can fully customize your device to how you play depending on the game you like to play. We will be checking this out in a little bit more detail in this video. And once you're done gaming, you flick this button once again and you go back to ordinary phone mode. Let's check out the Red Magic game space in a little bit more detail. So I went ahead and installed a couple of games such as PUBG, Pixel Gun 3D, and even Call of Duty Mobile as well. So the first thing you will notice is on the bottom left, we have the option to turn the fan on or off, which I've noticed again that this fan is significantly quieter than their previous models. Now, if we tap on the top right in here, again, these are all the accessories that are available with the Red Magic devices, headphones standard. You even got like dual core coolers as well. If we tap on the profile in here, you will learn more about your device as well. You've got your Red Magic uh, player, which will actually tell you your game career. So if you're a full on dedicated gamer, it will tell you how much you played. It'll tell you your weekly, it'll tell you your daily network settings, which are pretty standard. You've got the anti-disturbance setting. I really like this one. Again, should be standard in many devices, the ability to block or enable calls. And even if you do enable messages, you're able to customize the message, which this could be good if you like streaming. I'm curious if that could be integrated as well. System anti-mistouch. Again, feel free to read these a bit more detail. You've got different galleries as well. So we'll go with uh, this one. I like that one. Red Magic Trademark. Red Magic Watermark. Screenshots and manual recordings in game mode. We'll have a Red Magic Watermark, which you are enable, uh, which you can enable or disable. That's up to you. At the bottom, if we change to the Superpower Base, again, there is plugins in here. 
which tells you everything depending on the game you're playing, such as fast stopwatch, key positions. If you're a PUBG player, Call of Duty player, you can customize your crosshairs and things like that. You've got the sound equalizers, uh, investigate mode, you've got press to hold assist. There are so many different options you're able to mess around with. Now, this phone supports up to 165 hertz, but for those kind of things, you're gonna have to play games like uh, Real Racing 3, Vainglory. However, the shoulder triggers, which you can customize, are fully supported on games like uh, PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, and Fortnite. While we install a couple of things here, if you double swipe, you will get access to this, which will tell you your CPU usage, your GPU usage. You can access the plugins on the left-hand side as well. Uh, this game doesn't necessarily support 165 hertz. I think this might be uh, 120 for Call of Duty. Apologies if I'm wrong, but there are so many different options. You've even got a built-in recorder. You've got lock touch as well, and you can block out calls, change volume, change brightness, all by the tap of these buttons, all via this uh, red magic. It tells you how much charge you have. It tells you your internet connection. So really impressed. This is a big one for me. Again, the plugins library, you're able to access like this. We're just gonna start this up. Again, you can change your style. So we will go with, let's go with this one. I think that's a little bit better. I'll go with red. You can change the size of these as well. So we'll make it a little bit better. You, you've got the opacity, so you can make it really faint. Uh, what else you got in here? You got this one. To be honest, that one's not bad, but we'll go with this one. Nah, yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. Or even this one. I think that one might be a little bit easier for me. Um, so we'll keep that, right? So we'll, we'll keep that. Again, it'll just help me when I'm in game. So for me, the shoulder triggers are huge, which we can mess around with. So we're going to turn them on here. You can change them, turn them on and off. You can have vibrations on or vibrations off. You've got touch sensitivity. We're going to have high. Again, these are incredible touch triggers compared to the previous ones. But you're also able to change them. Let's see how they do in today's video. So I've combined my right trigger to the shoot ability. Now, I know these are bots and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to combine these. And they vibrate as well. So we've got ourselves a little bit of a kill streak here. Quite impressed with the quality as well. So let's just uh, reload a second here. It's been a while since I played any Call of Duty. I can tell you that for free. But uh, in pr in pr pretty impressed with the quality of this as well. I'd have to try this on some of the higher end games as well. We got some kill streaks. Let's get some kill streaks. Let's make sure we get the win here. Let's go. I'm gonna back away a little bit. I know the bots. Before you, before you shout at me in the comment section, I know they're bots. But uh, I'm a brand new player on this account, so we got to see. And also, you've got the hold to sprint. I love that. Let's get this active. We're gonna get ourselves a nice little dubby here. We're gonna go with this. Sorry, buddy. Making sure I get all these kills. But yeah, relatively impressed with the models. Again, I've got big hands. It just makes life incredibly easier for me. Huge fan of these shoulder triggers once again with this. Once again with this phone. I'm trying to focus on the game while talking to you guys as well. Here we go. Is that a dub? We win? But we won the game already. There is also a couple of different modes for you. You have the eco mode. You have balance, which is usually on by default. And you have the Rise one as well. How to switch to higher gear mode. Um, I just want to see what it says here real quick. It says the power consumption and temperature of the phone will increase. So if you're playing the highest quality, your phone might get a little bit hot. But that fan is definitely going to help you. A few more things to be noted about this phone is that it's had a huge cooling upgrade. Nine layers of phase change material. They've increased by 35% air volume with additional air duct on the Red Magic 7. With the likes of the VC heatsink, superconducting copper coil. And also the Red Magic 7 upgrades its cooling performance by improving thermal conductivity over 400 times. So this is really pushing the boundaries when it comes to gaming devices. So personally for me, the plugins library is a huge selling point for the Red Magic. But the fact that this phone has had so many upgrades compared to the previous models is absolutely huge. Changing these plugins depending on your game is just a really cool feature that I really like. And this is a phone. This is a gaming phone. It is the best gaming phone. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like. I'm going to go and test this even more.